Born in London will reportedly receive $5.6 million from Nipsey Hussle's estate for their son and 50% of the rapper's marathon clothing company. On Wednesday, November 1st, Radar Online reported Nipsey Hussle's estate has finalized its accounting, four years after the rapper's tragic death in 2019. According to the documents obtained, the estate reports to have over $11 million, including several bank accounts with funds totaling to $5,997,000. Other assets reportedly include 100% membership interest in All Money and Inc. worth $2.4 million, 100% interest in Marathon Studios. You know, no matter how much money they talking about, I'm sure that shit don't even feel me it ain't even a, you know shit don't do nothing but but the cold thing about it is luckily it ain't you feel me she ain't on no real ghetto shit some super ghetto shit because you know bruh a lot of people after hearing this shit you know like so so this this is i thought i would bring this to your attention a lot of people didn't know what happened with the state and this that and the third but you feel me yeah man a lot of people would have tried to spread them ducats out you feel me? Especially after like seeing the way certain shit is going or you feel me? Certain speculation. It, it would be hard not to try to like get some answers. You feel me? And then try to like. And you know they say they got justice, but then not to try to get some justice on your own. You feel me? 100% interest in the Marathon Touring worth $606,000. 100% interest in the Marathon Clothing Inc. worth $271,000. And they estimate Nipsey's trademark to be worth around $913,000. Actress Lauren London, who is the mother of Nipsey Hussle's seven-year-old son, Cross, will reportedly receive half the remaining account. Nipsey Hussle's other son, Imani, is set to receive the other half. In addition to receiving money from Nipsey Hussle's estate, Nipsey's brother, Black Sam, revealed back in March that Puma still puts money in a trust fund for the rapper's children. Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed on March 31st, 2019, standing outside his Marathon clothing store in South Los Angeles. Eric Holder Jr. was charged with Nipsey Hussle's murder. He was found guilty following a trial last July. In February, he was sentenced to 60 years in prison for the shooting. Shit. So, yeah, man, there you have it. It, it you know, so, so, you know how I say get some type of justice or, like, try to, like, spread the money out or whatever have you. It, 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 it gets tricky with that, right? Because a lot of people, you know, they is speculate and things look a certain way. And that's what we're going to get into that in, in, in a couple seconds, right? Because Wack was pointing out certain things and just kind of, like, putting it in perspective. You feel me? But at the same time, with him pointing out certain things, he definitely was still saying, like, now, I never said Big U did it, or I never said, nigga, he, he sent Eric Holder, or you feel me, and shit like that. But if you're not saying that, whack, then what you saying, it was higher up, or feel me? And Because at the same time, right, you 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 kind of like, with, with, the, with the revelations that Black Sam gave us, right, you kind of like relished in that moment, you feel me, and you kind of like... You and you and you, you, like you show. So I'm gonna react to some of the the Adam and Wax show because up there he was showing loose some. Cause you see how you see how big you did like the PSA and shit he did yesterday, right? And he was like, Nip never went against the gang and whoa whoa. But you know it's kind of like he didn't make no mentions about Black Sam, right? And people was kind of taking it like it was kind of like subliminals or whatever going at Sam. And it's crazy because Wax say. That Big U never liked Black Sam. You feel me? Accused the man of being homosexual and whatever have you. At least to whack. You feel me? He was he was trying to. But he say even though he didn't like Sam, he knew he had to play it a certain way. So he would he would act as if he liked Sam to pick his brain and do a little certain type shit. You feel me? And I know niggas who try to play them type of games and shit like that. See, it be it's a dangerous game when you do that because you never know when a nigga could decide he's on to you. You feel me? But yeah, so certain things Wack was pointing out, right? Was like shit that we seen already, of course. Like little shit like.
don't know what you waiting on, no, nigga. What you waiting on? You got to tell me what you waiting on. Justice for them. <laughs> Yeah, your boy would have been there like, yeah, you got it. You did. You did. They waiting on, uh, uh, they waiting on the interview. Yeah, man, so Wack was kind of like, he, he highlighted that, that little live or whatever, because it, it definitely come across, it definitely come across hella shady, and it come across like, you feel me like niggas is laughing at Nip and f the way Wack explained it, right? He say, he just explained it like Big U just really, the the the, the disdain Big U had for Nipsey, it, it, he couldn't contain it. You get me? He, he couldn't, like, say like whenever he got, got around Wack and it wasn't too many ears or, feel me? Certain nigga, he could, he could really talk how he needed to talk. Wack would say he would often hear... Big U voicing his disdain for Nip and, and, and Black Sam and just, you know, whatever have you. And it's a trip, right? Because another thing Wack decided to point out is like a contradiction in a seat. And a lot of people was saying that too. Like, okay, say, you know, the live that Big U did. And he was like, oh, man, what I had to gain from this shit. And he said that a lot too. Like, nigga, what I had to gain from it, man? Why would I do it? You know what I'm saying? And people like... You talked about uh, signing Nipsey. I mean, obviously, aside from being from the same area, how did you guys like? How did that end up, you know, happening? You um, and I, and you told the story a lot before, so just kind of give us a quick, you know. Yeah, uh, my 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 nephew TD. I was looking for artists. TD told me to go get Nip. I went seek seek Nipped out out of all the people we had already I already been interviewing and talking to, and he was the signing light. He was the diamond. See, and the thing is, too, like, I hear people speaking like, see, it wasn't always all bad with them. Of course not. You know what I'm saying? But they seeing when, when it, when it, when it, when, when, like, around the time when Nip was about to face his untimely demise, right, it was bad. It's what they said. Cause, but I did hear a lot of good things about, nigga, about the lines that big you push for Nip. You feel me? And the efforts and just, you feel me, certain shit that, that he contributed to it. Now, I've seen other people, too, speak on that, right? they like, did because you contribute to a motherfucker don't mean a motherfucker owe you everything. You get what I'm saying? And I feel that, too. Like, come on, man. In a pile of whatever. I right, mean, right, right, right. He was a diamond. Let me respect to my other homies. He was a, a diamond in a pile of other diamonds, but he just he just... He it was a bigger diamond. He was a sign. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He, he was, was and then and, and, and um He was the VVS. He was the VVS. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we had made a couple of moves and was trying to move through a couple of doors, and I vastly found out that I couldn't go through these doors. So I when I went and got Steve Lobel. And um I went and got Steve, let Steve hear the music. Steve felt the same way I felt about the music. And I was like, boom. So I signed Nipsey to Unique Music to my uh, to um, to Ari Mr. Astrodome to my to my label to yeah. Unique Music, and then Steve was ten percent management and I was ten percent management because it didn't make no sense for us to go get another, another manager. Right, right. And so we started pushing on that. So I signed him to it was signed to a ten year production contract which started in two thousand nine, which would end two thousand nineteen. Crazy. So that's the problem. You hear me? So that's what people like, hold on, bro. So you you signed him to a contract 2009, 2019. He died 2019. So about time the business was up with you, you ain't had no use for him, right? So they like, nigga, of course. And, and, you know, that's what they they just point out. That's what Wack, Wack was pointing out, these contradictions, as well as other people. People notice it. They notice a certain shit, and they doing they. But like I said, it, you know, and it's crazy, because people might think, like, why the fuck would Nip sign the Big U? That's another thing people was pointing out, like, Big U was already established as far as, like, certain connections and certain fucking friends, and you feel me? And nigga, whatever have you. But, yeah, man, Wack was up there going crazy. I can't really remember everything he was saying and how he was saying it, but we're going to react to that shit, and we're going to feel me. I don't give a fuck. Y'all niggas be a, nigga, nigga, you believe Wacky's a lying ass nigga, nigga. He's saying it on the internet, nigga. 
but he's saying it, whatever he's saying, nigga, nigga, you gotta contend. Like I say, that's why I brought up the fact that he got the bigger presence, nigga. Because if he, if he knows he, nigga, he, if he gonna draw the narrative and that's shit, hey, you feel me? You can't expect niggas to, like, nigga, go out their way for other niggas. Like, nigga, like, yeah, I'm a, you know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm hearing niggas out. That's it, nigga. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. Black was up there going crazy. Feel me? And, and, the, and the consensus is, right, everybody is start. See, but the consensus, right, and, and a motherfucker being guilty in a public, uh, in a, opinion, a court of a public opinion is is kind of, like, different from a nigga actually getting snatched up from them people and whatever. How you hey, 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 I need that cheese like a grater. Oh, don't play me like no sin, cause